we're now going to create a dormer in our roof by here. What I'm going to do is swap to the wall plate level. You'll notice that I have just selected the main roof by there and hidden it temporarily just to make it a bit easier to draw. Then I'm going to use the wall command and I've created a dormer wall construction. So you may wish to do the same. Now, the height of your wall, so your base constraint is wall plate. Height of wall is important. Don't set it too high. So at the moment, I'm just going to set it at 2100. If we set it too high, it can stick up through the roof later, um, which can be a problem. But let's just now draw in this. Don't be too concerned about the exact size. Okay. Let's go here. Now, it's important that the end of the wall penetrates into the roof. Okay, so just bear that in mind. If it doesn't, it just leaves a gap by there. Now we want to put a roof onto this. So let's go back to our wall plate, click on the roof by footprint, and let's give our roof a base offset of 2100. Let's define slope, set the overhang to whatever you desire, and then we get rid of the defined slope to do the other end, and finally we'll just have a line across these two by here, like so. Tick. And yes, we would like to attach them. Let's have a look with that. So now we can see the walls have attached to the roof. But let's highlight these walls. Tab key, click to get all three of them in one go. Attach and change it to base. And then click the roof. And now we can see those walls have attached themselves to the roof, which is great. Then we're going to go to the Modify tab and join an unjoined roof. Click on it. Forget that for a minute. Now we've got to click the edge of the dormer that's going to intersect the main roof. And then we click the main roof and it joins them together like so. But what we are missing is a hole in the roof where people can actually walk into the dormer. So what we're going to do here, back to architecture, and this time we want the opening dormer. And we need to select the roof that's going to be cut by the dormer, so that's our main roof. And now we've got to pick the faces of the actual element that's cutting. So that's by there. Now, what we do want is for us to actually put these on the inner side. So there, once I've clicked, I've just swapped it to the other side. Likewise, by there, swap it to that side, click on the bottom and then swap it to the inner side. And then we can just use the trim command and tidy up these edges, like so. OK, big green tick. And now as we spin it around, we can see it has nicely cut it. So just bear in mind, you did have to make sure you were on the inner faces of the walls, not the outer faces when you were doing that. And then from there, we can nicely pop a little window in there, put your fascias and gutter ins on and your ridge tiles as we've checked in other videos. So that, though, is how you add a dormer.